Guys, so um, tomorrow I'm going on the road. I'm filling in for a good friend of mine, Joe, uh, doing lights for Colorado. They're doing a winter tour. They do it like every year. Um, so I'm super happy to uh, fill in. Uh, but uh, I'm I'm taking my own gear, and I just kind of figured I would document. I, I it's kind of tight in here, but I've kind of like set up the rig. Uh, just to test it out so I'll just do a rig rundown obviously I'll cut to it all neat in cases uh, when it's all ready um, but basically uh, yeah I'll just go through it um, so anyway so I've got a uh, command wing uh, here uh, my MP, uh, MA lighting command wing um, and a touch screen here I'm running it all off of this um, uh, it's like a Dell um, M4800. It's an older uh, laptop, but it's a workstation. And DMX lighting doesn't really take massive amounts of pro uh, processing, so um, it's perfect for it. It's super solid. Um, I'm also running um, this, a little APC40. I haven't completed really labeling it yet, but um, it, it lets me get access to extra executors and whatever. Um, that's kind of the control side of it. Um, I'm choosing to go out um, actually over SACN, um, which is network protocol. So basically I'm going out of the network port on the laptop here. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah. Basically right into this, uh, it's a power over ethernet um, because the node I'm using is actually a, um, a DMX King uh, uh, EDMX uh, 4 Pro. So it's cool because essentially you just go in um, Ethernet one port and that uh, that takes care of the power for the whole unit and then it gives you four universes out um, and you can choose ins or outs so it's actually super flexible um, next so again this is just a test um, the design is basically I don't know if you can see behind me um, Colorado uses um, uh, it's again it's super messy on stage it'll look really nice but um so they they use these two work lights um as uh flanking the stage as blinders and uh basically you know you just go to the beat make it tight and it's kind of uh um uh, uh they're they're super bright but they they work really well so anyways what i'm doing is i'm actually bringing four of my uh chauvet um, color band H9 uh, battens. So they're basically one meter long. Let me see if I can do this. I'm, I'm sorry about the camera work. I'm, I've never really done this before. But um, so they're one meter long sticks here. And basically, I've, I've actually just clamped them right to the uh, work light here with the, just a general a C clamp. So we'll see how well that, that works out. Um, I'm not sure these work lights are the most robust but we'll see what happens um and then uh i haven't really decided what to do i've so i'm bringing four um uh, so two are going to be vertical on the work lights um and then two on the floor i might do shin busters so on the front of the stage facing the ground um because um they do a lot of cool stuff with um a uv lights and these h9s they're not just uh standard led uh like rgb um, these ones do RGB, uh, amber light, uh, cold white, so like a straight white, and then also um, a, a straight UV. So they kind of take the place of a UV cannon, uh, depending on how you place them. Um, and then basically, oh, just just to step back, uh, the the work lights here, um, they they were actually two times 500 watt halogen bulbs each. Um, so that presents a problem because you're needing 2000 watts of power, which is basically over a uh, standard 15 amp circuit. And the dimmer that I, I own, it does a standard uh, 15 amp, it's a Chauvet uh, DMX4, but each channel only does um, 5 amps. So it's if you do your math right, your voltage math, um, 5 amps times 120 volts is, uh, I believe, my math is shit, but um, anyways, the lights come in under six because I've swapped out the bulbs to 300 watts. So, um, so that's really nice. So I'm not going to be blowing, hopefully not going to be blowing any, um, circuits on the road. Um, next, uh, in this rig is kind of my baby. I don't know. 
<laughs> not really, but basically it's a Shobei Strike 1, Shobei Pro Strike 1. So what it does is, I'll show you in a second, but it's a 230 watt uh, COB chip on board um, LED. And it, it it's a blinder, um, but it also, because it's LED, can be used as a strobe. And the cool thing about it is that what they've done is they've designed it so that inside the the cone here, there's, I think, eight or ten amber um, LEDs. And what that lets them do is as the intensity of the unit drops, the, uh, the amber lights kick on so that it actually emulates a tungsten bulb dimming, which is actually pretty sick. It looks really good in, in effect. I'm not sure if the camera, when I get to it, uh, will be great at <laughs> emulating that because it'll I'll be using it as strobe or whatever. Um, but that's essentially it for the hardware. Um, I'll just pop over to the MA, the show file, and maybe I can just throw some effects on. I, again, I'm still figuring it out, and I'll change the stuff on the road. Um, but, uh, yeah, well, let's, let's pop over there right now. Okay, so I want to apologize in advance because... Um, Again, I'm just rolling a cell phone right now, so it's not going to have the, the best response. Um, but anyways, I just wanted to kind of show you briefly um, the look of the rig and whatnot, and maybe I can pop over to the, the show file. I just don't have the, right now the ability to uh, do a, a, a screen cap. Um, definitely something I'll, I'll look into. Uh, but basically, uh, the rig kind of works like this. So you have the two blinders left side the right side and obviously you can do them both at the same time uh, the third one this will probably be behind the drummer kind of deal or, or it dep it, depending on how the layout in the center of the stage um, it's it's incredibly bright so like if you look at these two I know again I apologize the camera could not possibly be great quality but if you look at the brightness of that that's uh, 1200 watts of light uh, halogen uh, versus this guy it's 230 watts LED um, I can tell you that it's comparable obviously you're gonna get a wider wash uh, with halogen with like four different sources like less uh, shadows and whatnot um, but um, for an LED um, it, it's pretty fantastic uh, fantastically bright I can't even really it's pointed right at me so I can't really see anything uh, but anyway so you can notice that see how I, again I, I get the camera quality better soon but basically it dims and uh, the, the the orange light kicks on so that's really fantastic and then also um, these LED bars they're quite bright on their own um, obviously I'll have to do some adjustments to make it work uh, for this space but essentially if, if we go to white here um, it's not bad you know in a, in a dark room you know if I turn out the lights um, I've used them in smaller clubs, and, like uh, the Rivoli uh, and uh, also the Horseshoe, and they punch. I actually have to change the maximum output of these from 100% uh, down to 15% because they're just so crazy bright. And uh, We're in a pretty bright room. I've got all the lights on because uh, I'm working and whatnot. But um, anyways, uh, it's pretty, uh, you know, simple setup. Um, you know, I'll be able to kind of work on the road and whatnot. Oh yeah, these, these strobe as well, which is, you know, obviously not as much punch, but it gives you a little bit of different flavors to play with um, in terms of rhythm, etc., etc. Um, okay, maybe I'll just pop over and just briefly show you the show file uh, that I'm working on. Uh, let's pause this.